okay dear students let us see what is there in this question in this circuit shown the battery has the emf of 12 volt and negligible internal resistance three identical resistors are connected the resistors each have the resistance of 10 ohm the resistor l is removed and what is the change in the potential adduction my dear students unfortunately this is one of those questions which are very very long and we have to completely solve this question there is no shortcut for this kind of question so whenever this kind of question comes never be afraid of delving deeper into the concepts okay you have to solve it by yourself there is no shortcut here so without wasting any time let us uh, move to this so first of all it's case number one so what we do is first of all we have to find the r equivalent so now this is 10 ohm this is 10 ohm and this is also 10 ohm so what will be the r equivalent for this system so now we know that when there are two parallel um, resistances so what we do is and if both of them are equal so the resultant will become half so the resultant of this will become 5 ohm and otherwise also there is a formula i am not giving here you i think you you must be knowing that so this is 5 ohm and this is 10 so r equivalent in case number 1 becomes 15 ohm so what will be the current i'm just calling it i1 because it's case number 1 so it is v divided by r it is going to be 12 by 15 so now we want to find what is the potential here at x so i am naming this junction at as y so i can very well say that delta v that is vy minus vx because y will be higher potential it is connected to the battery's positive terminal so vy minus vx will be equal to now we can choose either of the resistance so this is or we can choose 5 ohms directly even that will not be a problem so the resultant is 5 and the current the total current that is passing through 5 ohm is 12 by 5 so v will be 12 by 5 multiply by 5 ohm so it will become 3 4 so it is 4 and this y it can be taken as 12 so it will be 12 minus vx1 because it is the case number one so vx1 will come out to be 12 minus 4 and that is 8 volt so this is our case number one now we move to case number two now there is this resistance is not here so this is cut off this branch is not there so only this 10 ohm and this 10 ohm is there so what is the r equivalent now in this case it is 10 plus 10 because they are in series so it is going to become 20 ohm because both of them are in series so 10 plus 10 is 20 so what is the current in the second case the voltage is still 12 so it will be 12 divided by 20 so this is the current now which is coming out of the battery now this resistance is 10 ohm and we want to find the delta v that is vy minus vx in the case 2 this will be equal to ir so what is the resistance now 10 it is not 5 in this case and the current is 12 by 20 into 10 so it is coming out to be 6 volt and vy is 12 minus vx2 is equal to 6 this implies vx2 is equal to 6 volt now so earlier it was 8 volt and now it is coming out to be 6 volt so we can say that the change in the potential in x is it decreases by 2 volts because earlier it was 8 and now it is 6 so this is how we do this question my dear students please listen to this thing this this question is one of those questions that is sitting in your examination to absolutely waste your time actually because it is going to fetch you one mark so it, it is better if you if you move to some other question if you want okay but if you know how to do this it's it's a separate case there is no shortcut for this question you have to follow the complete procedure if you want the correct answer here so this is how we do it so all the best